It's another name you've been hearing a lot of over the last couple of months. Last night we told you about Tom Leak. Tonight we're taking you beyond the ballot, sitting down with his opponent, David Shore. Shore and Leak have been in a bitter battle for Florida's District 7 Senate seat since June, even though the attacks on Leak started back in April. Tonight Shore tells us why he is running for this seat and his thoughts on this highly contested race. You may remember David Shore as the longtime face of the St. Johns County Sheriff's Office. He was the sheriff there for 16 years. Shore entered the District 7 race back in June, wanting to tackle issues like campaign finance reform and giving more power back to local governments if elected. Every time our legislature passes a bill, they take more authority and power away from local government. And we put it in Tallahassee, we put it in Washington. But Shore entered an already heated race between current Florida Representative Tom Leak and political committee The Truth Matters. The committee started running attack ads against Leak at least three months before the primary election and only recently started running ads in support of Shore. I asked Shore if these ads are coming from his campaign. Listen, there are so many political action committees, it's, it's, and that's, they do it that way because it's hard to pinpoint. Leak claims Shore was handpicked by big law firms to go against him. Shore denied those claims, but confirmed lawyers are supporting him. The chair of the Truth Matters is also an attorney at the law firm where Shore works. I've got some, I've got attorneys that are funding me money and PACs money, but I've got a lot of people doing that. I don't have the insurance companies doing it. I don't have the developers doing it. So, you know, when they say these things, it's not really, the question isn't so much who's supporting you, the question is why does it take so much money? With less than two weeks left until the primary election, Shore says he is not focusing on the negative side of this campaign. He will continue working to get his message out to voters. After 40 years as a law enforcement officer dealing with some of the absolute worst that humanity has to offer, I left that job still thinking that 96% of our citizens want to be left alone by government. And I also asked Shore about his traffic stop back in December. He was pulled over for failing to stop at a red light. The officers smelled and saw marijuana in his car. Sure, what Shore was never arrested and charged in this incident, and he did admit to using medical marijuana. He told me he was embarrassed by what happened.